I'm going to step off here, guys, for two seconds. And coach, we've got Jordan coming over, the man of the hour with his nice mustache. He's going to yell at you guys on here. What's up, guys? Hopefully he doesn't talk shit or anything about me while I'm gone. <laughs> you want to coach? Coach him? All right, cool. All right, Jordan Peitzman, owner of Subspectrum, taking over here on the commentary mic for Spatch. Hopefully he has not been talking too much crap to you guys. And if he is, I don't really apologize for it. I think it was probably entertaining. So we're about to get started here with our second round. We've got Jacob Couch on the left-hand side. We've got Vicente McKeeve on the right-hand side. Jacob Couch is a brown belt out of Pedigo Submission Fighting. Uh, Vicente McKeeve is a judo and jiu-jitsu black belt out of Combative Sports Center in Wichita, Kansas, or uh, Manhattan, Kansas, rather. Jacob's already looking to go in on that leg. Kind of hard to see exactly what's going on here, but he's got, he's got control on that right leg of, or uh, sorry, on the left leg of Vicente, his right side. He's looking for an outside heel hook. Now looking for a belly down ankle lock. Vicente's fighting the lock with his hands and looking to escape his near knee line here. Uh, looks like he is able to keep himself safe here for just a couple of seconds. Um, and now looking to control the feet and maybe come up on top. He's got a wrist grip there. And Couch is the one that he elects to uh, come up to the top, and we're back up on the feet. Again, Vicente is a judo black belt, so uh, you'll see a lot of foot sweeps, um, more likely leg kicks from the feet. Uh, Jacob Couch is a very well-rounded grappler. You see him sit with the grip there. Looking to, uh, to play the bottom game here, look for his inversions, his elevations, sweeps, and uh, entanglements. Jacob Couch is able to come up on top here in the butterfly guard. Uh, body lock position. Doing a good job of caging the hips of Vicente McKeeve here in the second round of our men's advanced Nogi Absolute. Again, the winner of this is going to take home $1,000 cash. Jacob Couch has now forced his way into the half guard there on the left side, uh, keeping that head tight to the far shoulder. Uh, doing a good job of keeping Vicente's shoulders pinned on the mat. You see, he's not even really breathing heavy here. He's uh, not a super sense of urgency here. Uh, we've got about a minute left until points. Um, just looking to control this position and dominate it until he is able to either score the points or find a submission opportunity. To my left, we've got my man Jake Bauer of Octopus Films on the camera, providing you guys our live stream here today. Um, so if you guys get a chance, head over to social media and check out the Octopus Films. Now Vicente looking to enter in on that uh, left leg of Couch. Uh, Couch does a good job of crossing his feet over. He's looking to re-attack on that other leg. We've got a little bit of dueling 50-50 uh, uh, heel hooks here. Vicente with the foot on the face. Vicente looking to go in on that, uh, that outside, inside heel hook. And as we, as, we, as we go to the edge of the mat here, a subspectrum, we're going to let it go until there is a, a definite separation or until there's a good moment to reset here in the middle. Okay, stop, stop, stop. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get a reset here with the best, uh, the best um, version of exactly what we're seeing out of bounds here. Uh, the referee doing a very good job of uh, getting a look at the action, making sure that he can reset the position properly here in the middle of the mat to give both competitors uh, just as close as possible to the position that we saw there on the edge of the mat. Got a little bit of fighting here. Mahmoud's going to be uh, the, the one that gets to make the final call here. The competitors are obviously going to try to do what they can to get the best position possible, but the referee is the one that has uh, the ability to make the call here. So he is going to uh, make the entanglement as close as he possibly can to what we saw when they went out of bounds, um, and, and we'll get a restart here. Uh, we're going to have a lot of jockeying for position here, I'm sure. Jacob Couch doing a good job of pointing the toes. It looks like he's able to escape that position there and, and protect his knee line. He's going to come up into the top turtle position and looking for a back take here. Uh, he is exposing the back of Vicente McKeeve here as we move on to mat four. Um,
Looks like Jacob's got a Darce, a Darce position here um, as, as, Cou or as uh, Vicente continues to hold on to the ankle here. Couch is smiling. I think he's got something that he really likes here. Uh, we might see a finish. I think he's going to have to trap the head of Vicente on his chest in order to get the finish here. Um, it's surely uncomfortable for Vicente in this positioning, but if, he, if Jacob Couch wants to get the, the finish, that's what he's going to have to do. And Vicente is able to get the separation that is needed uh, to reset the position, and we're back on the feet. Back on the feet with just about two minutes to go here in the match. Again, we've got Jacob Couch in the all black. We've got Vicente in the uh, tatami rash guard and black shorts. And we're 0 0 going into this last uh, minute 45. A lot on the line here. Again, $1,000 cash will go to the winner of this bracket. This is our quarterfinal round. The first matchup in our quarterfinal round between Jacob Couch of Pedago Submission Fighting and Vicente McKeeve of Combative Sports Center. Go for it. Couch looking for that outside, that outside Ashi position. He's got control of the knee line. Vicente is coming up to control the posture, and Couch scores the the two points here for the takedown. And now looking to go belly down on that ankle lock. He's got the toes compressed in the armpit. He's looking back at the, the scoreboard. I thought maybe he was going to go for the finish there, uh, but just looking back to see what he's got as far as time goes for the rest of this match. Uh, 20 seconds. Vicente is going to have to not only escape this position, but come on top in order to get two and uh, tie the match up if he wants a chance to win this match. I don't think Couch is going to allow that to happen, so with just about five seconds left, unless we see a change of position here, Couch is going to be the winner and move on here with a 2-0 victory in the quarterfinals. He moves on to the semifinals of our men's advanced Nogi Absolute, Jacob Couch of Pedago Submission Fighting.